My name is Sean Murray and I'm checking out Channel Fight. This is Eddie Montero for Channel Fight and we're here in Santa Monica, California with Sean Murray. Sir, your compositions are excellent. Tell us about your work in the Debt Collector. Um, the Debt Collector was an interesting score for me because we were trying to go for a sort of 70s sound. Um, harkening back to scores like Marathon Man and Parallax View. So I was really trying to change my normal palette of what I normally do. And a lot of the stuff I worked on before, like Call of Duty, is very big and orchestral. This was very stripped down and very minimal in comparison to like a Call of Duty Black Ops. Oh, that's, that's big. Um, sir, I went to um, my college professor actually, when I was going to college and I took audio visual engineering class. And he said the audio, he said, turn off the music or turn down the volume in a movie and watch it. Watch a scary movie with no volume and you will not be scared. You know what? It's a whole different game because it's that important. Could you explain that? You know what? It's interesting because when I get the film, there is no music on it. Or if there's a temp score, I usually turn that off because I don't want to be influenced by what they've put on there previously. So it's really great. It's like you get to color in a movie with music. I look at it as almost like painting. So, and also you're using, it's like writing songs and you're using the dialogue as the lyrics for the song. Yes, sir. So, yeah. I really loved the accident man, accident man theme. When they were fighting, um, um, it was the two against the three, I believe it was Michael J. White. Oh, yes. And in the end fight scene. Yeah. That, that score right there, that really drove I felt it in my chest, like I really got excited in the film. That, that is one of my favorite films, and Jesse, it was such a different sort of film with Jesse, had its own unique character. What uh, we were trying to do with that is bring back some of the synthesizer scores from the 80s. So everything I did in that was very uh, 80s sounding with a modern twist, and we used like uh, Tangerine. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, Tangerine Dream, we use that sort of as a template and uh, Risky Business, that sort of sound. And then created something, you know, modern and unique at the same time. So It was great. And also, I loved it right here in the deck collector, just the way it came in with the guitars, the rock and roll. It was really banging. You could see the people getting into it in the theater. Yeah. Oh, the opening title song was a friend of mine, Max Sanchez, and he had the perfect song for the uh, opening sequence. So I gotta give a shout out to Max Sanchez. Right on, brother. Oh, it, was, it was a great film. Thank you for taking your time, sir. Thank you. Okay. Pleasure. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much.